Hey now, this is, <laughs> I don't even know who I am right now. Um, this is Sexy Tomboy checking in from the Silver Comet Trail. Um, deep freezer thought, not in the freezer, but in nature where I, I'd rather be. Um, okay. I was holding out on talking about this. And we all know what this is. Floyd. R.I.P. Um. Very hurt. And this is the second time I have posted since the COVID-19 about young black man being killed you know the narrative is changing and the plot is getting thicker um we shift them from a virus that consumed us had a lot of people in the house two to three months it's been two almost three months now for some people and within that little time three months really two months really one month within one month a lot changed for the world for the united states for the people a lot changed in one month 30 days and in 60 days, a real big change. We were all one, we was all in this together, you know. COVID-19, it didn't discriminate. It was anybody, you know. All, all hands on deck, you know. So we experienced people losing jobs, you know having to close and shut the doors, some permanent and some probably opened up now. But um, a lot happened. And we all kind of like was on the same playing field. Again, that's what I stated in one of my last videos that we were all on the same playing field. We all lost, we all are losing, you know? So we gotta change it up. And even during the time of those things, even when things was locked down or people was at home, we didn't hear the violence that was going on. This, the incidents that we see are the incidents that we see. But the incidents that we don't know about, that's what's probably scary. We don't know what's been going on while we've been in the house, you know, shut down. Not me, you know, because I was an essential. I was supposed to be out there part of it, you know, in the front line. On the front line, that's what they say. Bullshit. I want to be on the front line for this now. Okay? I was talking with a friend and she was like, Shan, what we do? What to do? I just, I want to do something. And I want to do something. I just woke up too. It looked like I've been fucking asleep for weeks. But anyway, I want to do something. I'm hurt. Um, I don't get it, but I do know it's time to do something. I don't condone, you know, killing this shit, but I want to do something. You know what I'm saying? Because it's been uh, all this left cheek, right cheek turn shit. The more we do that, the more we getting boxed out. We getting slapped the fuck out. Who does that? That doesn't even make sense to turn the other cheek when somebody's fucking with you. Fucking over you. You know, that don't make sense. So... What I'm saying now is what do we do? The marching, we know that's some bullshit. Okay. The protesting and all that is done. We're not going to keep doing that. That ain't that ain't what we need to be doing. Protesting, yeah. But <clears throat> I spoke to another friend because I'm always talking to my friends. We like to sharpen each other. Iron sharpens iron. And we try to sharpen each other. And my thing is... Something got to happen. You know, some it's some sacrifices got to be made, people. We can't be scared to go to jail, and we can't be scared to die. I mean, 
yeah, everybody's afraid of death, but sometimes people, we were here for a purpose. You know, we was here to do something. And I'm one that if the time come and if I have to be on the front line, you know, and I got people with me, I got, you know, I'm not, wait a minute, first of all, I'm not going to go out on the limb no more for a motherfucker. See, I done done that at jobs. I stand up for y'all and motherfucker, you be in there fussing and fighting for the, for the crew. And then when they call the peop the crew in, they they don't know what the fuck you talking about. You the only one up there standing up fighting for them and for us. For us. You be fighting for us. And then they turn their back on you. See, I don't want to be in that group. I need that group that's willing to go and die for this shit. Because it going to take that. You know, it's going to take some motherfucker to go to jail for busting a nigga ass. Yeah, and, 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 and I'm, I'm talking about <clears throat> not our nigga. A nigga is, a, is, is black and white. Y'all know a nigga don't just be a black person. Nigga ignorant. So busting an ignorant ass is what needs to be done. You know, it's going to be sad and, and it hurt to say that because everybody life matters. But right now, and don't be mad, black lives matter. We, we fucking matter. We, 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 we count for something in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? And for another color to think that they are better, that's not good. You know, but I'm not going there because I'm not, I'm not racist at all. I don't care about all that. Because, see, I, I come from the heart and this love. Who, who respects me, I respect them. Who treat me right, I treat them right. That's how it is with my walk. But the general... You know, I know it's fucked up out here. So I know I can't just believe and trust and think that everybody's the same because they're not. Um, out of my emotion right now, come out of that. I just want to know, somebody just tell me what do we do? You know, it is going to take violence. It is going to take some blood to be shed. It will be some lives lost. Even if it be my life lost. I want y'all to know this video will be on here. And know that I'm doing it for you. I would be dying for you. You know what I'm saying? For the, for the, for the, these motherfuckers really got to know that we not scared no more. You know, the point, okay. And really, this part of the plan too. You know, here we go. And yeah, my conspiracy theory type person I am. This is part of the plan. A lot of shit hadn't worked. You know, they've been killing us, fucking us over. Y'all know we saw way more killing than this last year. Even during the Obama administration, throughout that whole time, we saw bullshit. We saw the motherfuckers getting killed. We got, we had the Trayvon. We had the the cigarette guy. We had that. And I can't go through the names. And, and forgive me for not knowing all of them. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't come on here with all that. You ain't know the name shit. Who gives a fuck? I know they was like me. My brother. You know, they were something like, like my brother. Somebody that I worry about every day, my brother. So I want to know what do we do? You know what I'm saying? How do we get out of this? And again, showing this video, uh, if something was to happen and I had a background and there was a bunch of us ready to get this shit started, I'm going to be part of it. And that's just it. I'm going to be part of the fuck shit. Not the fuck shit, but fucking that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody it's gonna it's, it's just gonna have to come to that you know sacrifices will have to be made just like in the military in the army shit they sacrifice their own too you know it's gonna be casualties those are the heroes real hero let's stop just being scared to go to jail Let, and and i know we all got a life but look at our lives if you if you content with where you are right now that's fine and if you think what's happening is not affecting you that's fine because that shit could come to your door. I don't want it to come to my door. I don't want my brother. Because, see, I got two brothers. Black, young, nice looking, strong, healthy. You know what I'm saying? Work. Got shit. One of them walk around with a gun on his hip and a knife. You know, and, and I'm, I'm scared for him for that. But he's licensed. He's a, a, a young, black, good guy. You know, but want to protect himself. But they will see it a whole nother way. You know, and it could go wrong for him. So I worry about them. So I go out for them. I'm going to go out for them. I'm going to go all the way out for them. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what to do. I'm fucking hurt. 
to hear a grown man call for his mama. Lord, y'all, yeah, when I say it. And I can't think about that because that's when I cry. I have cried for this. I'm going to cry, baby, but my heart hurts so bad because this man, I ain't even going to go down. I just want to know what to do. Somebody shoot me a secret email, secret um, DM. I want a more plan. I want it to be a plan. If I need to make a plan, I can plan, but I need help. I need willing people. So, um, y'all, I'm so fucking hurt, but all I can say, watch for the hook. The narrative is changing, and the plot is getting thicker. Deep freezer thought, y'all, I'm gonna walk. Um, I got to clear my mind. I need these trees. So, be easy. Y'all, um, just be easy. Deep freezer thought, sexy tomboy, signing off.